Hi everyone, welcome to Lisa's Stamp Studio. I'm Lisa Curcio, and I wanna to talk to you about texture. Now we have pattern papers and embossing folders and all those things are awesome, but have you ever thought to look at a household item? This is a paper towel, and if you look closely, you're gonna see that it has a pattern in it, as most paper towels do, and they're very absorbent. But did you ever think of coloring it? And let me show you how. Make sure you cover your work surface, going to lay it with the texture side up. Now I'm using Calypso Coral and I have a couple other samples I'm going to show you as well. You're going to want to use the top edge of this ink pad and pull towards you. So we're just going to cover this paper towel with ink. I've also noticed that the ink comes out a little darker than it is in the pad. So if you're looking for a light pink, make sure you go to Pink Pirouette. If you're looking for a lighter blue, make sure you go to Soft Sky and so on. Darker colors are very vibrant as well. Isn't that fabulous? But you're thinking, so what? But let me tell you what I did with it. First of all, I did not find it very user-friendly on the Stampin' Up! trimmer, so I decided to tear mine. And I tore towards me so that I would have some nice edges, and I tore all the way around. Now, I will tell you, because paper towels are absorbent, you're gonna get it on your fingers, so just make sure you have a baby wipe or a damp rag close by, and it comes literally right off because that's dye-based ink. You will need to re-ink these over a period of time only because the saturation on the paper towel, which has now become your newest background paper. But let me show you some things I've made. This adorable dinosaur card, check out that background. I ripped it and I just wanted some really rough texture. And I wasn't even concerned that I didn't cover the whole circumference because this in itself adds a lot of interest to the card. And here's another, and here I've used just a small piece. I ripped it and I put it around the back. Of course, that gold uh, metallic thread really just kind of plays that up. Here's a couple others. Again, the white paper towels in the center, and you can see here, this is Mossy Meadow, and this is Hello Honey. And these came out beautiful, didn't they? I am super excited to share that quick idea with you for some backgrounds. I want you to think about using these in your big shot with your framelits, maybe to make clusters of flowers or other shapes for 3D projects. So I bet you'll never look at a paper towel the same again.